Ah, okay. Audio is not working, I guess, for you. Okay. That's all right. And Mineski, you're still trying to connect. I figure the official start time is 7.45, but I thought, yeah, I could come in and start it early. I'm glad you guys are here in case anybody wants like, you know, office hours before the class starts. Do you like my impromptu? Uh, I got whiteboard decal stuck on my wall. Oh, oh. Quincy. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing okay, I guess, relatively. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, here's somebody else. Santana, she's connecting to audio. Let me see if I can. Hi, Dan. Hey. What's that? Okay. You see what we got here so far. All right. As we're waiting for more people to join, if you guys have uh, any questions, general questions, specific questions, uh, if you just want to sit there and continue to wake up, um, I'm going to do the same. Let's see. This is going to work the best. Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. Maddie, Quincy, Matsana, Mineski. Hey, if you guys want to go check out the, uh, I just put something up on Canvas. It's kind of like a practice test. Let me see here. All right. So thirty five. All right. Let's see. Maybe I can. Oh, yeah. All right. I need to send you guys. I did grade most of the homework that was sent to me. I just got to get it back to you guys now. Let's see. How can I do that easily? Here we go. Okay. Okay, so Mineski, I'm sending you your, the homework I graded. Let me see what else you got here. 
Here we go. Ventana, let me see. I'm not sure why I didn't do this yesterday, but I didn't. Uh, there we go. Ventana. Okay. Ooh, we got some more people. Carlos. Okay, I like it. So we're just hanging out for a bit. I'm gonna start at 7.45 officially, but if you guys have any questions, you can ask away or you can type it in the chat. Uh, let me see. Hey, hey, hey. I see the top of somebody's head over there. All right, let me see. Ventana, I just sent you the homework I graded for you. Oh, Shaisa, where's everybody? There you are. Okay. I like it. Oh, oh. Oh, you're welcome. Hmm. Let me see. Interesting. About five more minutes, guys. We'll see if anybody else drags himself in front of the computer. Somebody's got their mic working. Let's see. Oh, sir, Carl. Good morning. All right. I'm going to keep some kind of attendance going here. Tana. Vineski, Quincy. Caitlin. Am I missing Maddie? Zerkarn. Who in the world? Let me see. I really hope my Wi-Fi holds up. That'd be that would be that would be great. We'll find out. Let's go, Carlos. Do I have a Carlos? Who the hell is that? All right, guys. So let me see. I can't find the link on Canvas. Oh, let me check. I'm, I just put it up there this morning uh, under assignments. Um, all 
Right, let me check. Yeah, it's there. Let's see. So it's, it's under assignments. Um, it's way at the bottom, I don't know. Let me see if I can pull it up top. Boop, it says chapter four to seven review. It's what it's called. And then I'm gonna have a video showing the solutions to it. So make sure you can find that on Canvas. Oh, it's up to you. I, 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 you can keep it off, Kate. I saw the top of your head earlier. <laughs> so then, you know, you can keep your jammies on. Doesn't matter. Oh, there you go. Everybody, <laughs> everybody said, if you don't need to see me, that's all good. All right. Who else came in here? Angel? Hi. Hey. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm trying to keep an Ernesto. I'm trying to do a little bit of a. Hey. Uh, let me see. Hold on. What time is it? Almost time. I mean, the link for our Zoom meeting. Oh, the link for the Zoom meeting, you're here. I just sent it out over email. I didn't put it in the in Canvas. Uh, I, I could, I guess. Um, let me see, Ernesto is here. Oh. Is that Angel Contreras? Yeah. Okay, so make sure. See anybody else I missed? I got somebody connected with their phone number. That's different. It's me. I'm driving. Oh, who is this? It's Angeli. Angeli. Oh, Angeli. Hey. Let me mark you as. Yeah. Just be careful. I just got off of work. Oh, wow. Yep. Can you say where you work? Or what it. Um, I work at Sharp Coronado as a CNA. Wow, CNA, critical, no, what's that? Certified nurse. Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I know it's like RPN and all these different things. I can't keep track. Well, okay, uh, hopefully you're doing okay over there. Is it uh, filling up? Are you dealing with a lot of cases or is it like less busy than normal? On the days. I got you. I don't want to get ask anything you don't want to answer. But it is, I'm curious <laughs> about how things are at the hospitals. It's, it's busy. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining in. Let's see. No Did I miss anybody? Let me see. I think I got everybody so far. All right. Huh. Well, we'll see if anybody else shows up a little bit later. Uh, I'm gonna mute everybody right now. Ha ha ha. And you can unmute yourself if you want to. So if you wanna say something, if you wanna type something in chat, feel free. Um, first thing, I put it up in the chat. Uh, make sure you can find the, what's called, uh, let me see, what did I call it? RAR. Dad gummit. Yeah. Uh, chapter four to seven review. Yeah. It's what would have been practice test two. So hopefully by now you've all gotten the syllabus. Um, in fact, let's do something right now. This might make class work easier in the future and maybe today. Can you all see how to raise your hand? 
Can you all see that? If you go over your name, well, actually, let's do this. There's a link at the bottom of the screen that says participants. Oh, hey, Olivia. Do you guys see that? Manage, it says participants. There we go, Kate's got her hand up, I love it. So if everybody could find the way you can raise your hand. There you go, there's Angel, I like it, and keep it up. Did I lose Kate? There's Kate, she just put her hand down. She's like, I can keep my hand up. All right, there's Quincy, I like it, Angel. Let me see, is anybody not able to find that? Olivia, you just got here. Can you find the raise your hand, uh, whatchamacallit? Let's see who else is here. Mineski, can you find in Nantana? And of course, uh, and Jelly, you're, in the, you're on the road, so maybe don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, let's see, I muted everybody, by the way. So if you want to say something, you have to unmute yourself. Uh, so Olivia, you can't find the, the raise your hand option? If you hover over your name. No, Olivia? Shaisa. So I, I'm pretty sure if you just hover over your, um, your picture, it should be there. Or if you go hit participants at the bottom and then hover over your name, it should have a raise hand option. Same thing with Mineski. Well, I'm hoping this will work. Mineski's got it. I like it. Can you see the participants, Olivia? Yeah, let me unmute everybody. Everybody's unmuted, oh my God. Except for the people that don't have the ability. All right, Olivia, so if you hover, if you put your mouse over your picture, can you see a raise hand option? Because I can lower people's hands, ha, 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 ha. Put your hand down. No, I see only you and, and three dots, and it doesn't say anything. Yeah, just hit the participants on the bottom of the, of the screen. Yeah, at the bottom of the screen is participants. And then you should see everybody. If you hover over yourself, there should be a raise hand option. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to work on that. Um, so first thing, of course, is the Canvas thing for the practice test. Everybody should have gotten the syllabus by now, right? The updated syllabus? Yeah. OK. Um, I got to put that up on Canvas, too, I guess. I got to get used to both email and Canvas and all this kind of stuff. Um, so the way this is going to work is uh, the only test we have left is the final exam. Uh, all the other tests I'm gonna break up into quizzes. So here's the big, big news, and I'll type it in the chat too. Uh, Wednesday, I'm gonna give, uh, right after our meeting, Wednesday morning, I'm gonna send out a quiz on chapter five and six. That's the quiz we were supposed to have uh, uh, the week before spring break. Uh, so I'm going to send it out that morning and it's going to be due later that evening. I like it. If anybody has issues with getting it done in that time frame, let me know. You should be able to do it immediately for in 30 minutes or something, but I'm giving you the whole day because I understand everybody's schedules have gotten out of whack. Um, so everybody, well, let me see. Everybody can see, Livia, you can see the yes, no? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, everybody understands. Hit yes if you understand that uh, the only test is the final. All the other tests have been broken up to quizzes. Uh, let me think, what else was there? 
Oh, yeah, there it goes. I got a couple of people saying yes, I like it. Uh, and you're not voting that you like it. You're voting that you understand this is the way it's going to be, right? <laughs> this, is, uh, this, this is not a full democracy at all. I'm open to suggestions, so don't get me wrong. I'm not a dictator. Uh, let me see. Carlos Susunaga. Carlos Susunaga. Who, who are you? Let me see. I just, oh, Isaiah's here. I don't have a Carlos Susunaga. I don't have a Carlos. Do I? You're not from my other class, are you? Or are you just somebody who wandered in? I don't understand. All right. Well, whoever you are, stranger. Oh, hey. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Gosh. If you have an alias, you're going to have to let me know who the hell you are. All right. I got your one. Okay. Bam. Oh, there's your last name. I wasn't even looking past Peralta. Oh, well. All right. Uh, let me see. Isaiah just got here. Morning, Isaiah. Let me put you down. All right. Uh, oh, oh, a really good question from Sir Karn. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I wanted to give each of my classes the same amount of time, and I have a 12:30 class. So I was going to give maybe, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe there's no difference if I do that. So yeah, sure. Why the hell not? We'll make it until uh, 11.59 on Wednesday. So if you just joined the party, let me put it in the uh, chat too. Um, quiz on Wednesday, given out in the morning after our meeting. And it'll be due by 11.59 p.m. that night. Don't try to turn it in at 11.59 and 27 seconds. It just won't work. Um, bam. The quiz will be on uh, chapter five and six like it was supposed to be. Uh, back when things were normal. Remember that those times? Oh, hey, Monica. All right, let me put Monica down. And I put Livia down. All right, so now I can see who I'm missing. Where are these peoples? Okay. All right, so uh, I think I, I, I'm still feeling out. Oh, I see, I see, thank you. Uh, announcement. I, I, anything you guys, <laughs> any suggestions you guys have about Canvas, I'm still learning all of this. I personally never wanted to teach this way, but this is the only way I could teach now. So I appreciate all the comments saying how much you hate this, uh, but there's not a damn thing I could do about it. Uh, I wish there was, but there ain't. So we all can hate it together. Um, but that doesn't mean it can't be decent. It can't be good. I I'm going to feel this out as I go. I've got my whiteboard sticker up here. So I could do examples when we meet. I could do lectures when we meet. I'm thinking I'm still gonna, you know, make videos of stuff and put them up on uh, the YouTubes uh, without an audience so you guys can watch them. Um, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work out because I've never done it before. So I'm not sure what's, uh, what's gonna work best. Uh, so I'm open to feeling this stuff out. Um, in fact, let me see. Why don't we do a little, somebody's saying yes to me. I like that. Um, why don't we do a little poll right now with whoever's here? Uh, yes or no. Would you like lectures like this or would you like lectures by myself on the YouTubes? Yes or no? I'm sorry. That's a yes. That's a yes. Or would you like lectures like this? Yes or no? I say yes. Oh, interesting. People still thinking. Hmm. Ooh, this is weird. This is like watching the polls coming in. Let's see. Come
Come on, guys. You guys have opinions. Can... <laughs> oh, let me see. Monica. Okay. Can every... So everybody, look at the bottom of your screen. If you don't have the yes and no that you can see to the uh, right of the screen, at the bottom of the screen, it should say participants. If you click on participants, then you should see a whole thing open up to the right of your screen. And then you're able to say yes or no. All right, so I got a couple people still. Okay. All right, let me see. So I got eight yeses and three no's. All right, so what I'll do, we'll do lectures like this. Yes, there you go. Angels got my, I'll do what Angel just said. Um, <laughs> we're obviously going to do this. I just didn't know if this was going to be more homework help in this session or if it should be lecture. And I kind of was personally leaning more towards lecture format. So we'll do lectures like this. And then my videos will be, um, what do you call it? Let me do it like that. Ooh. You know, do that. Sorry, I'm messing with my stuff. My videos will just be like um, uh, solutions to handouts I give out and some homework type examples will be the YouTube videos. We'll do that. I like it. Um, I am recording this. I probably should have said that at the beginning. Uh, uh, <laughs> in case you log in. I, I could, I was considering setting up my phone um, and doing it that way, you know, with the phone going at the same time. But my little thing, I've got to work on this. He lost a leg, so he's a little bit harder for him to snatch onto things. So I got to figure out um, how to do that. It tells us it's recording. Okay, thank you. Uh, good. Is that why people are not showing up? It says recording. They're like, screw that. I don't know. Okay. So we actually got a little ahead before all this stuff happened. We were actually about a, a, almost a week ahead, to be honest. So if you felt like it was that, it was that. It just kind of happened. Um, so we, we really did, we finished up through chapter seven. And I think I blasted you guys with so many videos on six and seven. That should be good to go. Um, all right, so yes, no, everybody. Yes, no. Did you guys uh, go to Canvas and find the uh, practice thing that I posted? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. I think that's unanimous. Let me see. And they got my two that don't know where the yes, no are. Tell me. <laughs> Let me see. And then Tana, I don't know. Are you still out there, Tana? Let me see. Okay, looks like, all right, good. I like it. Everybody, sweet. Thank you. So I already made that video, the the um, the solutions to that uh, practice thingamajig. I'm going to post that uh, maybe later today. So don't go see that video until you've tried it. That would be great because just like before, if you just watch me doing something, it's easy to just agree with what I'm doing. And then you don't know, have a clue if you can do it yourself or not. Um, let me see what else do I got. So the, so really to make sure everybody's clear, no more tests except for the final exam, right? There's going to be more quizzes. So I'm basically taking the exact test I would have given you and breaking that up into quizzes. Uh, the syllabus that I sent out has the updated, oh, <laughs> Jesus had nothing to do with it. Uh, the syllabus I sent out has the updated um, percentages between all the stuff. Any of this, if you have an issue, you can, you can talk to me if you don't, because, oh, I just had Savannah. Hey, I'm trying to keep track as people come in. Maybe I should make the waiting room something. Um, Here's the neat thing uh, that I know you guys are just going to love. Here's the way that I've, I've figured this out. So I'm going to say on the quiz, 
no external help, no notes. I'm going to have formulas on the quiz. Uh, I'm going to say no videos, none of that shit. So you really should take it like you're in the classroom. Uh, I don't know if you are or not. You should. <laughs> Here's the thing. The final exam, we're going to do like this. And I'm going to require you to have your video on. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, well. Uh, so then you're just like you're in my classroom. I can keep an eye on everybody. Not that I don't trust you personally, but there's somebody in there I can't trust. So uh, to, to keep the integrity of everything going on, I've got to make something like that. I didn't want to do it for every quiz. That would have been insane. So the quizzes, I'm just going to let you be honest about them and do less about them. Like you would. <laughs> Sorry. That's right. Stretched. <laughs> Not interesting. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute everybody. Ah. All right. Um and I made the final worth an extra five percent. So you gotta check that syllabus out and uh, let me know if you have any objections to anything. And if it's a reasonable objection. I might do something about it. So normally I would joke and say, let me know if you have an objection and I'll overrule you right there. But I want you to realize this whole thing is obviously insane. So I'm cool with discussing options for things if something's not gonna work well for you. Cool? Yes, well, this is weird. I can't get immediate. <laughs> All right, cool, cook call, cook call. Uh, yeah, yes, the quiz dates will be announced like I just did, uh, right? Everybody knows there's a quiz on Wednesday. Um, do we have homework due with each quiz section? Uh, I haven't, all right, so what's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. Thank you, you Kate. Tomorrow, Mr. Yeah. What's that? Oh, wow, you told me yesterday, I was like, oh. <laughs> So here, everybody, let's get used to this. Uh, this is how most meetings work really well. Uh, mute yourself unless you want to say something. There we go. So if you want to say something, unmute yourself. I just lost somebody. Damn, somebody left class early. Shit. Uh, let's see, who's connecting here? Oh, oh I'm, <laughs> I'm like... I'm waiting. <laughs> Finally works. Okay. Hello. Hello. Let me see who just came in here. All right. Uh, what was in the middle of talking about? Let's see. Oh, oh, so the, the, the percentages have all changed. Um, oh, oh, the homework. Okay. Thank you. Kate. Very good question, Kate. Um, <laughs> thanks for laughing. I, on Canvas, what I'm going to do, instead of trying to keep track of all the emails with homework attached, that's driving me a little crazy, I'm going to try to use Canvas the way I guess it's supposed to be used. I'm going to put, uh, under assignments, I'm going to put the homework sections, and then you just upload the homework for each assignment, and then I can keep track, and I can actually grade it right on there, so I don't have to, like, save it and send it back to you. Uh, when I finish grading it. So it's going to be through Canvas homework, and I'm going to have uh, due dates up on Canvas. I still have to figure out what I'm going to make the due dates. Um, I'm thinking right now, so, so again, I'm going to take each quiz, break them down into quizzes. I'm sorry, each test, break them down into quizzes, and I'm thinking I'm going to make the homework due um, probably on the day of that last quiz. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But the homework dates, the homework due dates will show up in Canvas. Um, quizzes I will announce here and on Canvas. Uh, now that I remember there's an announcement feature on Canvas. Uh, thankfully somebody reminded me about that. Um, let me think, what else is there? Oh, so, I don't, I think on Wednesday, we're going to get into chapter eight. So Wednesday, um, I'm going to start with a little review. 
maybe the first 30 minutes or however many minutes. And then we're going to get a little bit into chapter eight stuff. Um, and that's the day you're going to have the quiz that's going to be due that evening. Okay. So, um, do you guys have any requests about, uh, homework stuff about, do you want to do an example problem? Do you want to, um, um, do you want me to kind of re-lecture over something? Um, what section are we on right now? Uh, we finished chapter seven. We're actually sort of in a, in, a, in a decent place for all of this to happen because we were a week ahead almost. So that week we sort of lost was okay. Um, so we, we're done through chapter seven. Um, and we've been on a holding pattern in chapter seven. So if you've been keeping up with videos, homework, all that stuff, you should know the shit out of six and seven, <laughs> right? Um, this next quiz is on five and six. Five was uniform distributions. And six, of course, was the basic normal stuff where you have to know how to use your z-score chart. Okay. Uh, can we go over 7167? Okay. And this is where, if I would have just been more prepared. Oh, where did I put? Give me just a minute. Now, of course, I didn't grab my physical textbook before I left work the last time I left work, and then they wouldn't let me back on campus. It was interesting. So let me look up the book real quick. Is the homework still the same question on the book? What do you mean? I don't know. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm, well, not quite as bad as Joe Biden with uh, technology, but I'm close. Oh, uh, no, no, no. So I'm not going to change the homework. I'm just going to put uh, on Canvas under assignments, I'm going to put the homework so then you upload it for each section. Um, I'm not going to change the homework. Uh, uh, oh, okay. All right. So let's see. So I got a request for section seven, one number 67. What is happening? Oh, I wish I had a physical copy of the book. Okay. All right. I'm getting there guys. So 67. It's just one of those weird ones. All right. Whoa. Is that what I is signed? 67. Oh, well, maybe it is. Determine which of the following are true and which are false. Is that the one, Mineski? Yes. Interesting. All right. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay. So this one says. Let me see if you guys can see it. Oh, is that 67? Does that look familiar to anybody? Yeah. Here I like, I'm still in chapter four, Jeff. All right. So it says, is this true or false? When the sample size is large, the mean of X bar is approximately equal to the mean of X. Now that one's kind of evil. All right, so, so guys, here we go. Little quick mini lecture. Central limit theorem. Ooh. Chicken lettuce demand, right? Can you guys see that? Yeah. All right. What does it say? It says uh, the mean of the sample means equals the mean. Okay, so, so again, you, you gotta break this stuff down. 
Don't just gloss it over. If I take a bunch of samples from a population and average all their averages, of course it's gonna be the same as the average of the whole population. It's not different people, it's not different things. Okay. Um, secondly, it says standard deviation changes, right? If I take samples, they should be closer to the average, so the whole thing should get skinnier. And of course, the third thing it says is, n greater than 30, it becomes approximately normal. I think I'm writing better than normal here for some reason. Anyway, um, so this problem is slightly evil, but so when the sample size is large, the mean of the x bars is equal to the mean of the x's. That's true even if the sample size is not large. So it's still true. It's kind of weirdly worded, right? When the sample size is large, the x bars are approximately normally distributed. Large is normally considered to be greater than 30. So that's something else that they're kind of a little bit evil about in this problem. They don't really define what large is. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. And of course, does the standard deviation change to stay the same? No, it doesn't. We know that. No matter how big the sample is, the standard deviation changes. I like, I like. So that's number 67. Let me see if I can do one and not just finish the whole problem for you. Let me see. 65 and 62. Okay. 65. Oh yeah, 65 is the one about the length. Let me see if I can show it to you. The length of the songs on albums. Blah, 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 blah. All right, let me get my high tech uh, eraser. Oh man, oh well, too bad. Um, 60. Five says uniformly distributed from two to three point five minutes, right? Uh, let's see. There's and then they pick a total of forty three songs. So they pick a sample of forty three songs. Okay. Now I actually just answered part A right here. X follows a uniform distribution from two to 3.5, right? I'm sorry, that's part uh, B. Get in there. A is that same question they always freaking ask you, just what physically does the variable uh, follow? What does the variable physically talk about? And they tell you in the first four words, the length of songs, right? Blah, 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 length of songs. Easy. Um, X bar, what would X bar be in this case? Not what is it, the value of it, but what does it tell you in words? Anybody have that answer? You can type it out if you want to. Nobody knows you're all like, I don't know. Nobody knows. Okay. So they took a sample of 43 songs. So what will X bar in words be? Oh, yeah, the average of all the songs in the sample. Beautiful, Mineski. So that would be the average of the 43 songs, the average length of the 43 songs, because X bar is the sample average. I like it. Uh, let's see. Oh, so the, where it starts to get really weird is part E. Um, well actually, what happens to, let's talk about D first. What happens to X bar when I take 43, what happens to the distribution? It was uniform, but of course, now that it took 43 uh, sample size, what happens to the distribution of all the averages? 
I know this is where some of you guys without your videos on are probably went back to sleep. That's all right. I don't know. <laughs> I almost don't blame you. But what, of course, central limit theorem says, if I take n greater than 30, what happens to the distribution no matter what it looked like before? What happens? Oh, yeah, there we go. Isaiah. So now I know it's normally distributed. So in part D, you just got to say it's the normal. It's n, a normal distribution. What's the mean of the uniform distribution. That's the nice one. That's the beautiful little equation, right? And the standard deviation is this funky dude with that weird ass 12 down there. Become a two. Thank you. Can you guys all see all that? Yeah. Is that working all right? Okay. Thank you, Maddie and Isaiah. Become somewhat normal. I like that. Just like all of us. Um, so you can figure out the mean, you can figure out the standard deviation for the individuals, but for part D and E, this is the part, this is like, this is a, this is a problem on the practice, the review, exactly like this. Stay with me, I can feel it. This is such a weird way to do everything in the universe, but oh well. No matter what the distribution was to begin with, in this case, it's uniform. And I can calculate the mean and standard deviation for that uniform distribution, right? Bam. Then I take a sample of 43 songs and I find their sample means. What will all the sample means look like approximately normal because n is greater than 30? So then I don't have a uniform distribution anymore. It's not uniform anymore. It's now normal. <clears throat> and that's why I love this question that's so weird for everybody. The X's follow a uniform. The X bars follow a normal. Of course they do because N is greater than 30. And this is what's really weird. You're kind of cool with Florida being all funky as shit. Remember Florida? Alternate units way up there. Alternate universe Florida, right? You're cool with that. But then you got a uniform curve. But still, I don't care what it looked like to begin with. If n is greater than 30, it's normal. What else changes? Anybody? What else changes? What does chicken, lettuce, tomato say? Oh, here we go. Standard deviation changes. So you're gonna to have to figure out what the new one is. So you gotta figure out what this one is first, and then you gotta figure out what the new one is, right? What's B and A in this case? 3.5 and two. So you gotta figure out what this guy is, and then you can figure out what the new one will be. I don't know if that helps. So for part, Come here, phone. Wake up. Yeah, part E. Okay. This problem is so awesome. Stay. All right. And I'm going to take this away. This, something's about to fall over over there. All right. Okay. All right. I got to clean that off. So 2 to 3.5. So now the mean is going to be this. And now the standard deviation is going to be that. All right. So that is the standard deviation for individual song lengths. So the minute I do this, I'm going to have to figure out what the new standard deviation is for that normal curve. So I got to first figure out what the shit this is. Then I can figure out what the shit that is. All right. Whatever the hell that is. Can you do it, Jeff? I don't know. No, I don't want to think of it. Uh,
2.25. I'm not, what am I trying to do in my head for? My God. And <laughs> she's God, excuse me. It's really, I'm sure it's not normal to you to immediately think to try to do something in your head. I, I don't know. Maybe it is. Um, I get this. I get 0.433. So do you, I, I could be wrong. You never know. Okay, somebody's saying yes, or that might have been earlier. I don't know. I need to clear that. Clear. All right. That's for individual songs. That's and in fact, you guys, do you guys listen to songs? <laughs> you know that some songs are longer than others, right? So this is kind of this is for a specific situation somewhere it's some collector's itunes album is for them but there's obviously a spread of length of songs right of course there is some songs are longer some songs are shorter there's an average length of songs yay um this is for individual songs in this weird person's collection so how do i figure out the one for groups of 43 how separate are groups of 43 songs they should have a smaller standard deviation because a group of 43 should be closer to the actual average that's the whole idea behind chicken lettuce tomatoes central limit theorem so this is going to be 0.433 divided by the square root of 43. All right, so that, that whole thing we just did is part D. I mean, there's, there's a lot in that one question that they ask. Oh, you got 0 0.066 for that? Okay, almost evil, let's try it. Um, yeah, but then, then, then part E comes along and you're like, well, that was weird. Everything else should be nice. No. Part E says the first quartile. So it jumps right into a funky problem. Where's the first quartile in that curve? I don't know if you guys can see it. It's tiny. Poor little dude. Yeah. That's 0.25. Can you figure out what the z-score is? And then can you change it back into a raw score? All right, so that should be enough, hopefully. That should be enough. I, I will say this, that problem has a lot going on. It really does. Like you just saw, that one piece, that one thing had all this work that we had to do. Right, so I understand that. Uh, let me see, I think there was one other question. Um, where'd it go? 67, 65, wasn't there another? Oh, 62. I love you guys, working backwards. 62, uh, let's see, fly balls. Right, this is the one about fly balls. Let me see. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> you all have your computer, obviously, so you should be looking this up. Um, this one says that the mean is 250 feet for fly balls, and the standard deviation is 50. Maddie, which part of this did you have trouble with? Was it, uh... let's see. And catch up here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, yeah. So the very first thing, do you know the mean is 250? The standard deviation is 50. And they take 49 fly balls, right? So what's the very first thing you should do?
Oh, part B, you had trouble with Okay. But the rest of you guys, what's the very first thing I should do? I took a sample. And the next question is all about the sample mean. Yes. So I need to calculate my new standard deviation. It's going to be like seven point something or other. Then part B, so once you get that, part B says, what's the probability that the sample mean is less than 240? Right? Well, how do I know this is a normal distribution? Oh, well, they said it was. <laughs> Even if they didn't say it was. N is greater than 30. So central limit theorem says good, but they actually said it was, so it doesn't matter what N is. That's a huge point. N could have been three, and we would have been fine, because it says they're normally distributed to begin with. So I don't need N to come save my ass. N greater than 30 comes and saves you if you don't have a normal curve. We have a normal curve. And N was big enough. Yay! All right, so it's double normal. Um, part B says this. I'm sorry, is it less than? Less than, okay. So what am I going to put right in the middle of my picture, of course? Yes, 250, because that's the mean. And now I want to know the probability less than 240, so then I'm going to do what with 240? What am I going to do with 240? Do a z-score. Get a z-score, I love it. Because then I can use my handy dandy chart of answers, right? What am I going to divide by here? I'm going to divide by whatever the shit that was. Did somebody do that for me? No. It's seven point something. Some point one four three, Nita. Oh, look at you. One four three, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that is that cool? Is that all right? So I know sometimes in the middle of weird ass hello? In the middle of weird problems, there's one like this. This one's a direct, straightforward problem. Change the standard deviation, find a z-score, look it up, get the percentage. It's almost weird to your brain when you're like in the middle of weird shit and then all of a sudden there's a normal problem. Um, part C is the more interesting problem. Right, part C is the 80th percentile. And hopefully I've done enough of that Right, where would the 80th percentile have to be? It has to be up here to have 80% below it. Find the Z score and then change it back. In this case, to be honest, it would be this, but you know, same idea, same formula, really. I like it. Okay, maybe I'll join since I last looked. To see roll. Did I figure out who Gels is? Who is Gels? Can you chat me? Whoever. Maybe that means that they're. Is that like a direct? Oh, okay. Angeli. Oh, you gave yourself a name now. Okay. Gels. Okay, I got you. I think I got everybody else. Yes. I like it. All right, guys. Anything else? I also will, am open to suggestions for future videos. You can always uh, shoot me a suggestion on Canvas. You could shoot me a suggestion on email. You can shoot me a suggestion right now for videos that you want me to make. Um, I am going to put out later today the series of videos for the solutions to that practice sheet. Um, Oh, I don't, I didn't say this. 
a quiz on Wednesday, of course, I said this, chapter five and six, but then there will be a quiz on Monday, now get ready, because this is kind of taking the place of the test, right? So the quiz on Wednesday, five and six, the quiz on Monday, chapter four, and chapter seven. So overall, those two quizzes constitute the test, what the test would have been. So Wednesday, I'm going to give out chapter five, six quiz after our little Zoom thing. Um, and then that'll be due that night. And then Monday, same thing. After a little lecture or after a little Zoom thing, I'll put out the four, seven quiz and that'll be due that night. Isn't that crazy? So I ended up just putting most of the test percentage onto the quiz average and it took 5% and put that extra on the final because the finals can be the one I can have eyes on. Yeah. So we, we have some integrity. Um, okay. I think, is there anything else I wanted to, any other questions about anything or I don't know if I'm ever going to get used to this. I guess I will. You get used to everything as a human. By the way, you guys, are you guys keeping up with, uh, you might not want to be, but are you keeping up with like real factual information about coronavirus? Yeah. However you feel about our president, um, those uh, press release, those press conferences things might not be the best place for real information. Uh, it's not. <laughs> it's not a political statement. It's just a fact. Uh, I might send out. I didn't want to do this before, but I might do it. There's some nifty stuff, mathematical stuff behind like when the peak might happen. I'm sure you guys have heard now maybe when the peak, they expect the peak to happen around Easter now is the expectation. Of course, we've got to wait and see. That's what the models are saying. And it looks like it should peter out by June 1st, but August, it's going to start to come back again. So the school is actually sort of preparing for the very good possibility will be like this through the end of the year, through December, right? We're preparing for that because it would be great if that comes to be not true, but we have to be ready if it is true. And it looks like there's a really good chance there will be a second spike in August if you look at any of the good information. Um, but again, I just want you to realize we're getting ready for it. You should sort of prepare for that possibility too, but there is always a chance that that's not true. Maybe they'll come out with something earlier than they thought they would, and then we can all go back to normal. Just don't bet on that, right? Uh, is that anything else? Let me think. Yeah, so just um, stay home, stay safe, <laughs> work on your statistics. And uh, keep up with Canvas email. Continue to give me suggestions if there's something I'm not utilizing on Canvas that might be good or something. Because uh, I'm still feeling it out for myself. Uh, I, I hate that. Well, it took a pandemic to make me actually use Canvas. So, okay. All right. I, I can't, I'm not completely unreasonable. Um, otherwise, uh, I think this is a good place to stop for today. Um, so I'll put that video out later for the uh, answers to the uh, handout. And then I'll see you guys on Wednesday. And you guys notice, I think you used the same. There's the link for both today and Wednesday. Okay. Coolness. All right, guys. Thanks for coming out, you know, of your, of your room. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for showing up. And uh, some of you guys are not quite out of your room. I see. All right. Thanks for turning on your computer. Let me say it like that. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. If anybody wants to hang out for a second, I can hang out uh, and answer any more specific questions. But otherwise, you can, you, can, you can head out if you want to. I have a question real quick yes. about the homework. Who's talking so, to me? Me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't say me. I got the whole Brady Bunch up on my screen here. Um. So when we're posting homework online, it's on Canvas, and we can I like take a picture of the homework and then send it to you, or how how is that? What was your way of posting it again? Because I don't remember. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I haven't done this yet, 
but on Canvas, under Assignments, I'm going to put each section in there so they can upload the file. Have you guys, did you guys get my email? Did I send this out? You never know anymore. There's a page I put up on Canvas with information about different scanning apps. So if you go to Pages, if you go to Canvas and go to Pages, the only page up there is called Photo to PDF. So if you log into our, oh, there's the Cam Scanner. Kate says Cam Scanner. I use something called Tiny Scan, I think it's called. And it works really well, so I don't give a shit what you use. I have no oh, stock in any of them. What you got? It's the app, the, the scan thing. Sure. Okay. Okay, never mind. Because PDF, PDF is the best format because, uh, anyway, it just is. Uh, some, some people are sending me images that I can't even open. So, no, let's try to do PDF. Uh, Somebody uh, fast, okay, I got cam scanner, fast scanner. Don't use anything if it says scammer. Make sure it says scan -na -na -na, instead of scam -ma -ma. Um, <laughs> I don't know if there's scammers that are that straightforward. Um, all right. Any other questions? And you guys, uh, let me see. I got a, I got a nine o'clock meeting, but I can. Somebody's asking me to do some more from chapter six. Um, any any specific suggestions on chapter six? I see typing happening. By the way, I really appreciate you guys uh, showing up. I'm worried. I was really worried it would be me and then two other people or something. Uh, not to say anything bad about you guys, but I, I don't know. Uh, and then... Uh, let's see, 74, 75. All right. Do, 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 Shisa. Oh, crap. All right. Do you guys speak German? Let me see. Okay. Um, chapter, seven, no, chapter six. Uh, 74, 75. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, so there's the one about Mensa. Um, so this is chapter six, number 74. Uh, IQ is normally distributed. IQ is kind of a weird one because we sort of make it be normal. That's what standardized tests mean. Standardized tests mean that they're, most of them are gonna come out normally distributed because they're forced to be. Irma Gerd, I'm going to have to invest in some kind of cleaner. Oh, well. Um, this one says IQ is normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. I don't even have to look. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Part C says Mensa is an organization whose members have the top 2% of all IQ. So, of course, where is it going to be? Why can I draw this? Because it did say it was normal, like I just said earlier, or normal. Um, top 2% of all IQs, of course, is going to be way over there. So, what's that going to be? Why do I even have to worry about finding that? Because what's the chart? Only understand. The chart only understands areas that are below as the picture shows you. So this would be 0 0.98. 0 0.98. I hear myself. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, what is somebody doing over here? Oh, Kate gave me a clap. I like that. She's still out there. Sorry. All right. Um, so then you find the z-score. Right, you find 0.98, you find the z-score, and then you make it back into an IQ. This formula is this formula. They are the same formula. And this is kind of interesting. I always wonder if students really understand what I mean. Those are not two different formulas, of course. Just one is solved for x and one solved for z. So they both 
convert one of them into the other one. So if I know an X, I can convert it into a Z. If I know a Z, I can convert it back into an X. And as always, formulas capture ideas. So do you guys remember what this formula tells you? No, it tells you the answer to that question that's gonna be on one of these two quizzes coming. What does the Z-score tell you? The number of standard deviations from the mean to the data point. Bam. Uh, and then I'm almost certain 75, yeah. 75C is basically the same thing I just did. The lower quarter, so it's another 25% down here. So that's on 75C, same thing. I like it. Everybody's still here, this is crazy. Anybody else have uh, something? Are you posting these? Yeah, I'm recording this right now. So I, to be honest, I haven't really played around with what the recording looks like from Zoom. Um, God has nothing to do with it. <laughs> um, let me see. So yeah, as soon as I, uh, get a look at it, I could put it up on YouTube and then put a link in canvas. Sure. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I, by the way, I'm not a YouTuber. I don't give a shit. If you click like subscribe, any of that shit, if you subscribe, you'll see when I put new stuff up. Some of it will be applicable to you. Some of it will be applicable to my math 90 class. But still, it's not a bad idea to do that so you know when something new is going up. Um, are we going to get a formula sheet for the quiz? Uh, formulas are going to be on the quizzes. Yeah. Do it yourself? No. No. <laughs> Don't do it yourself. Because then you can put whatever the hell you want to. Now, in the grand scheme of things, you could do whatever the hell you want to because I'm not going to sit here and watch you take the quiz. Uh, but, but don't. Pretend like you're in the classroom and, and take the quiz and get what you honestly get because that's the best way to get ready for the final exam. And the final exam is the one I'm going to have eyes on you so you're going to be able to do shit. So there will be, unfortunately, some students that do everything they can to be awesome on the quizzes but that doesn't mean anything because they're gonna die on the final. So they'll probably end up failing anyway. So you're not gonna do that, are you? You're gonna be smart. Oh, okay, I'm confused on 74D. Isaiah has given me some kind of, look. Uh, oh. 74 has got to do with the IQs again, right? 74D is a nifty question Oh, uh, the middle 50% of IQs. So you gotta first draw that out. And to be honest, it's the same formula we just used on part C. It's exactly the same formula, you just have to use it twice. Because the middle 50% of IQs fall between what two values? So you can figure out what this Z-score is and what this Z-score is, right? How do I figure out what that Z-score right there is what does the chart need for me to be able to find that z-score? It needs this area. Chart only understands areas below a z-score. So if you look at 0.5, you're not getting shit to deal with this problem. What is this? Yes. Somebody tells me 0.25. I like it. And, and we, uh, thank you, Mo. Um, there's a problem earlier. This, this is really cool. The first quartile, if you guys have done this, is actually like two thirds of a step. Anyway, so you look up 0.25, you get the Z score here. Whatever Z score that is, that's the opposite sign. Does that make sense? Because of symmetry. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then each one of these, you want to change back into a normal. IQ score. I'll know the Z score, which is how far I've got to go. And then I go that far to find the IQ score. So 74 C and D are the same formula. Just D has two, the two IQs. So then you can know if your IQ is in between there, you're in the middle 50%. If your IQ is above this one, you're in the top 25%. All right, 
I'm going to call it so I can get ready for this nine o'clock meeting. Whew. Thanks, guys. So just, you know, if you have any issues, any concerns, I'm sure you guys are getting all the emails from the school, right? Mm -hmm. uh, anything, just ask me, email me, ask me, uh, and I'll, I'll tell you what I know, right? School is still a little bit bad about this. Sometimes I'll send you guys something and then we find out like a couple days later what they told you guys. So I, I'm like, come on, just please. Do it. Anyway, so. All right, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to end this for everybody. All right. So I'll, I'll see you guys Wednesday. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Bye-bye.